slightly disgusting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're with Emma Swanson and Jess Wichner of the East Mantle Sharks, but also rivals this weekend for the Western Derby. Yeah. So, Emma, you're looking forward to representing the Eagles this week? Yeah, for sure. I think um, it's always been a dream for a lot of the girls playing to put on an AFL jumper and um, to do it in your home state. That's even even bigger. I'm really looking forward to it. And Jess, you're representing Frio. Are you a Dockers fan? Uh, I'm not, no. So, uh, I'm originally from Tasmania. I'm actually a Port Adelaide supporter, believe it or not. Um, but, to be honest, in the West, yeah, Fremantle are my favourite team, so I'm looking forward to running out there and uh, beating my teammate out there. So, obviously, you guys have been training together, but you'll be rivals on Saturday. Do you think there'll be a bit of? Do you think it'll be pretty fierce out there? Definitely. Yeah, I think um, both teams are made up of a collection of girls from around WA, so the, it's the best 44 um, in Western Australia is split into Frio and West Coast. Um, so there's a lot of teammates who'll be versing each other. So um, it'll be interesting. I'm really looking forward to it. And are you expecting the standard to be similar to like a state match? I've been told it's a, kind of going to be for selection for WA. Yeah, so from my perspective, I think that WA has a really good collection of talent at the moment. And I think that the teams are really evenly split. So I think that it's going to be really hard for the selectors to even get the squad sort of named after this match because of the high standard of all the girls. And Emmy, you've played four games for Melbourne. And Jess, you've played twice for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs yeah. yeah. So you've obviously experienced that standard. Are you expecting something similar out there on Saturday? Yeah, hopefully. Um, I know that of the 44 girls playing, there's a lot of girls who haven't um, played in the Western Bulldogs and Melbourne games. So um, I'm, I guess there'll be a lot of nerves um, running out there on Saturday. But for the two of us, I guess we're kind of lucky as well because um, hopefully we'll be a little bit more uh, relaxed and we can help the other girls through it. So I guess this is like a pre-season game for you or for you guys because the season starts the week after. Yeah. How do you feel the Sharks are shaping up this season? Yeah, so obviously the past two seasons that I have played with the Sharks, we've been unlucky to lose in uh, the semi-finals both times. So I think that this year is going to be a really good opportunity for us to move beyond that, especially um, having some fantastic new recruits such as uh, Miss Swanson here as well. So I think that um, the team this year, we truly believe that we are a chance to really go all the way. And then are you fitting in well? Yeah, I'm really loving it up here, um, and I just hope that we were actually I was playing for Peel, who knocked East Frio out for the last two years. So um, I'm hoping that East Frio can get through this year, and hopefully a top two finish, and that'll give us a second chance come finals time. And hopefully we won't need it, and straight through into a grand will be nice. So you guys are obviously elite football players, but you need to work and you need a day job. It's very hard to find that balance. Yeah, so for me, um, finding the balance uh, is more financial than anything. I think. Um, sort of the cost of having to keep your body right and everything like that uh, sort of impact uh, with how much some people are making. Um, for me, I've been really lucky because we've had Belinda from Enhanced Physiotherapy down here sponsoring us and she really looks after me. And we also have um, Angelo um, with Kokova Contracting who's also with us as well and also the Left Bank have come on this year to um, help us out with some sponsorships. That's oh, great, always good to give them a plug. So yeah. yeah. All right, well, good luck on Saturday and good luck for the season. Thanks Thank you, you so much. You.